Hello and welcome to the fifth episode of my F124 driver career mode series. In this one is well, it's the Chinese Grand Prix, our first sprint race of the season. So um, it'll be cool to experience the new sprint format, which will be quite good. But as you saw okay, there, I got a few upgrades, so actually one failed, we got another one there. Through, but but with that being said, it is time for the Chinese Grand Prix. And um, as you can see here, uh, sprint is all uh, clear, but qualifying is actually going to be in the wet. So it's practice. So uh, I decided to do uh, the simulation for the f practice, and it just did not work. It won't be happening again. But I only got 50 resource points. But with that being said, it is time for sprint qualifying. Here's something we haven't said for a little while. Welcome along to qualifying in China. After a few years absence from the calendar, it is great to be back here. But just who is going to put their car on pole? Going straight into it now, coming around the final corner on my first flying lap, not making you guys wait. And we go second fastest on the mediums as well, obviously. You're meant, or in real life, you're meant to stay on the mediums for SQ1 and SQ2, but some people have been on the softs. But either way, I just made it through um, on the medium tyres, so maybe they'll fix it, so you have to use the mediums. But either way, on to SQ2 here now, uh, on the mediums still, as I come round the final corner. With an extra bit of time, just in case I need to go again. We do come over the line, and it is seventh fastest with two minutes to go, so everyone does get one more lap, but... Currently 7th fastest, I'm not too sure if that will be good enough for SQ3 and it just literally just wasn't, that's unfortunate obviously but um, we move on, it is just a sprint race so obviously we can just come back in actual qualifying and perform in the actual race, get some better points but either way, a bit disappointing but we'll move on to the actual sprint race now. Welcome to today's sprint, this is shaping up to be another fantastic weekend. We start a lap here at Shanghai with the long, difficult right-handers of turns one and two, the first of 16 corners that make up this 3.3-mile circuit. The incredibly long back straight provides the best passing opportunity of the lap, with speeds in excess of 200 miles per hour before we head into the braking zone of turn 14. Off the back of a fantastic qualifying session, it's time to see how our starting grid looks for today's sprint. Max Verstappen put in a fantastic lap yesterday and he'll start from pole position. And a very happy Carlos Sainz will start second. Looking at the rest of today's grid, we have Fernando Alonso, Perez, Norris, Leclerc, Hamilton, Russell, Oscar Piastri, Albon, the rookie, Bottas, Gasly, Sargent, Sonoda, Magnussen. Hulkenberg, Stroll, Ricardo, and Esteban Ocon lines up at the back of the grid. The for the strategy here, on, I'm just going to do, do the one-stop. Oh, no, no stop, sorry. I don't know why it has a one-stop strategy. But we're just going to have no stops all the way on the mediums, the seven laps. As it's, I feel like the mediums probably be better out than the softs. But either way, as we come to the grid now, as the lights do come on, as we go to five red lights... And it's lights out and away we go for the Chinese Sprint Grand Prix. I guess you could say Grand Prix. But either way, it's not the best start for us here as the cars ahead of us get away. No one actually overtakes us. We do hold P11 going into Turn 1. As we go wide, our teammate Bottas tries to go up our insides, which maybe try and stick it around the outside of Oscar Piastri, tucking in behind Lewis Hamilton, trying to maybe get Slipstream on the exit to help me get ahead. But um, Alex Alvin actually blocking Piastri there, so we do manage to get ahead there quite easily. But later that lap now, I see a big gap between Albon and Hamilton, so I try and send it down the inside, managing to move up into P9 here, just one position away now from the points. But um, lap two here, getting quite close to the back of Hamilton, uh, two guys ahead, Russell and Norris going side by side, slows Hamilton down quite a bit here as you get up close and personal with his gearbox. And I get a great exit here, so I shoot past him and manage to move up into P8, moving up into the points. But it is lap three here now, uh, coming towards the final corner here, towards the end actually. And Russell gets an awful exit. We actually have to break upon exit to make sure we don't make contact with him. We do get a good exit there either way. And with the DRS using a bit of our battery, we're looking to go round the outside of Russell here, going into turn one. He does try and stick with us here, but Piastri is maybe slowing him down. And maybe we look to make a double overtake here as we break going into the exit of turn two. 
side by side with Oscar Lando Norris, sorry. He does just manage to stay ahead, but we do make the move on with George Russell, almost on Lando. But either way, lap five here now. We try and shoot it down the inside of Lando Norris on the softs. Clearly, those softs aren't going to make it to the end. We continue to go side by side as he gets a better exit than us as we do take the inside line there, going into the final corner, going really close. I think making a little bit of contact there. We do move lose a little bit of time, so. Um, not managing just to make the overtake almost, but not managing to move up into that P6 position. But that's all that really happened in the sprint race as we come over the line here now in P7. Carlos Sainz actually taking the win here for the sprint race. And um, yeah, so points in the sprint, so definitely a positive, but hopefully we'll be able to do a bit better in the actual feature race. And as you can see here now, our teammate Valtteri Bottas finishing P11, so no points for him. But yeah, overall, not a bad sprint race, but we'll as we go into qualifying next. Now here's something we haven't said for a little while. Welcome along to qualifying in China. After a few years absence from the calendar, it is great to be back here. But just who is going to put their car on pole? Now as I thought here, sprint qualifying is in the wet. So um, honestly, they've sent me out on softs, which I just don't think are the right cause. We're coming to turn one here completely lose the car hamilton actually overtakes me he does make contact there on my flying lap i mean i do have no grip maybe he shouldn't have done that either way but this car just does not i don't know why they sent me out on the softs but either way i go out and do an interlap here now towards the end of the session enough time to go again just in case because um, i actually have never driven in the rain well i actually haven't really driven in the rain at all on this game so it's especially just at china so um I don't know how this lap's going to be, but everyone's still doing dry lap. I don't know if they're going to come out on the uh, wet tyres, but we do go fastest of the session. And um, no one else actually goes out and sets a lap, so we actually do go fastest of Q1 here, which is quite nice, obviously by six seconds there. So Inter were definitely the faster tyre, they just chose not to go on them for some reason, I'm not too sure why. Bottas making it through. But going into um, Q2 here now, uh, we actually have an issue which delays our start delays us going out into qualifying so that's a bit of a well it's just after getting p1 and q1 bit of a unfortunate thing but either way we do come out it is dry here now so we set a lap towards the end i guess um but i probably won't set another one it is still a bit damp around the certain parts of the track and we actually go fastest again so um i believe that would be enough i thought that would be enough but uh the game actually crashed, so I don't know what happened there, but I'm pretty sure I did get knocked out. But either way, we uh, I go back into the game here now, either way. And it is going to put us straight into the race, but you'll see the grid anyway, so I'll let you watch that now. The Chinese Grand Prix then is upon us once again. It's a race that saw Michael Schumacher claim his final Formula One victory in 2006, as well as Red Bull's first win with Sebastian Vettel in 2009. There's no doubt there's plenty more drama to come here in Shanghai. We start a lap here at Shanghai with the long, difficult right-handers of turns one and two, the first of 16 corners that make up this 3.3-mile circuit. The incredibly long back straight provides the best passing opportunity of the lap with speeds in excess of 200 miles per hour before we head into the braking zone of turn 14. Off the back of a fantastic qualifying session, it's time to see how our starting grid looks like for today's race. Max Verstappen put in a fantastic lap yesterday and he'll start from pole position. And a very happy Carlos Sainz will start second. As we continue through the rest of the grid today, we have Perez, Norris, Oscar Piastri, Fernando Alonso, Leclerc, Albon, Hamilton, Russell, Bottas, Stroll, Gasly, the rookie, Ocon, Hulkenberg, Magnussen, Sonoda, Ricardo, and Logan Sargent. Now but as you saw there, we are starting uh, P14, but we are on the grid here. As you go to five lights, it slides out and away we go. Um, it's not the best. Actually, it's an all right start for us here as we try and maybe go down the inside of Lance Stroll going into turn one. We are on the mediums here and everyone else on the hard compound tyres. So we do have that little bit more of grip compared to everyone else here as we try and maybe dive down the inside of George Russell here, maybe in the inside of our teammate as well. But Albon, I guess, kind of holding us up as our teammate. 
takes that last point spot. So maybe try and stick it around the outside. They do go quite wide there. Maybe Russell's trying to regain that P11. He does regain that P11. But I do stay with him here, using my battery just to make sure I can stay with him. So I try and send it down the inside into the next corner here. Right behind our teammate there as he does try and make a move on Alexander Albin to move up into P9. So they do go side by side here, maybe giving us an opportunity. On lap two here now, trying to do what our teammate did to Alex Albin and move up into P10. We actually do have a purple tech to a one, which is quite nice, but we do manage to move up into P10. And actually our teammate also on the medium, so that's nice to see. On lap two here now, on the main straight, or not main straight, but I do make a fatal mistake and I break very late here. And I ram into the back of my teammate. He doesn't sustain any damage, but I break my front wing and I lose all my places. So I go down to last. And honestly, after this, I was raging. I was actually really, really annoyed with this. But um, as I dive into the pits here to fix my wing, I go wide there with uh, that broken wing. But honestly, I ended up just retiring. Like, I just got really annoyed. I couldn't be bothered with being last for the whole race trying to catch up. And then once I catch up, they are on new tyres in my pit. So I just ended up retiring. And I actually fast forwarded and missed all the um, like standings. So here are the standings after the race. I don't remember who won, probably Max Verstappen. But that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Sorry this one wasn't very long. Um, but yeah, that crash just really annoyed me. But Miami, next race, another sprint race, does go a lot better. So definitely stay tuned for that and definitely go check that one out.